Hello, how are you? It's, uh, what is it? Monday the 30th of November. Hello, I hope you're well. Now, this is going to be very, very, very speedy because I am late this morning. Um, I'm very tired this morning. I've been very busy. And I, you know, after last week's vlog, I got a torrent of requests asking me to do the smoky eye um, makeup for you. So um, I learned it from my book, from this lovely book. See this lovely book? So if you want to learn how to do things, you can get it from this book as well. So I have already done one eye. Do you see this one? Now I am going to do the big reveal and I'm sorry, I'm going to look a horrific too mental. So here we go. See, right, undone. Right, so this is going to be very, very speedy smoky eye. Now can I just say, people remarked last week that they could hear heavy breathing and they thought maybe himself was up to dirty business while he was filming me. The heavy breathing is actually mine because he's after getting a new fabulous microphone that picks up everything. It can even hear my brain whirring. So if you hear heavy breathing, it is me, not him. Uh, so don't be alarmed. Um, so for any smoky eye, you need at least three colours, well, three colours, um, in the same family. So I'm going to go with a brownie kind of palish this morning. And this is real um, simpleton's um, smoky eye, um, for I am a simpleton and I am just learning from the book. Um, so we have a mirror, we have a club, we have an eye. Um, and I will show you, right, I am starting with a base coat, which is a Estee Lauder, lovely one, lovely and warm. And I need, oh right, now, hang on, you might find this useful. There is a lovely makeup artist called Kira Daly who works out of Belfast and she does lovely collections of brushes and things. Um, she curates them for the different parts of your face. So, so she has done an eye collection, so I'm using her eye brushes. Here we go. Also, can I apologise for my displeasingly crepey eyelids? It is not my fault, it is his fault, him himself's fault, because I wanted to get the laser resurfacing done on my eyelids and he wouldn't let me. And now I have to put up with really disgusting elderly ones. And they my eyelid sort of moves like a shoal of fish. It's horrible. Anyway, right, so that's the base on. Do you see? Any Elgom can do that, right? Now for me le next bit, and I'm using a Bobbi Brown palette, and it has lots of colours in it, do not be alarmed. Um, I'm going to go for, for this lad here, do you see this sort of browny, mid-brown? So, right, and I have one of my Kira Daily brushes, and, right, I'm going to go in the crease of my eye, I'm going to go in a kind of a V shape, the crease of the eye, and then along my eye line, if that's the word. And don't worry about it being messy because then we do blend it at the end, do you see? And we're going to go for this dark colour here, do you see? And then we're going to go in a sort of a tighter V. Now we get a blending brush. This lad here, another Kira Daly one, and just kind of go in circles. And I do apologise for the state of my eyelids. They really are appalling. And just sort of blend it so that there's no kind of obvious drawing on your eyelid. And this is just for daytime. Further down the line, we'll do a more complicated one if you have the misfortune to be going to a party or something like that, we'll do the glamorous smoky eye. Right, now we need highlighter. Right, this is a Clinique highlighter. Well, it's actually a brow highlighter. Do you see? Um, see this middle yoke here? That's a highlighter. So just up on the, is it called the socket? The bone, the bit, you know, the high up bit of the eye. The bit that isn't the crepey eyelid. See, quick. Now, Eyeliner. It's a liquid, it's ancient. I inherited this from my great grandmother. A lovely Yves Saint Laurent one. So you can't buy it anymore, I'm afraid. It is a family heirloom. Now for the lashes. I'm using two things. I'm using the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. It's lovely. So first of all, it sort of tints the lashes. It's not a mascara. I'm probably putting this on all wrong. But sure, who cares? 
I'm not going to be arrested by the, the mascara, by the eyelash police. Jesus, maybe I am. That would be awful. I might write a novel about that. A dystopian place where they spy on you. And if, like, if you light the candle and you don't cut the wick off, the candle police arrive in on top of you. Now, for me mascara. I do love the Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? Full Fat Lashes, Five Star Mascara. But everybody has their own favourite mascara. Um, I like this one. And then this goes on over my little black primer. So there you are. The smoky eye for gums. Um, it's not really very smoky at all. So I, I'll be very brief because I'm very, very busy. I have to go over and mind dad. And it's been immensely busy. Um, I was, uh, well, I've been scribing a lot, which is very nice. Um, and I was very inspired by Jenny Colgan at the Guardian Masterclass Day, where she said, um, you know, word count. So I've been making myself do a thousand words a day, which probably doesn't sound like much, but it's maybe a lot for me. So as well as my kind of fiddling around and tidying and all of that, I'm trying to do the thousand words a day. And I managed every day except for Saturday when I only did 600. Um, what else? Yes, yeah, so I was a guest presenter on the Irish Times Women's Podcast, and that's just up now. And it was, it was great to do, but it's very hard interviewing people. It's very hard kind of shaping a programme. And the two women I interviewed, who are the authors of this lovely book, um, are both amazing and very interesting women. And they're both going through really terrible things in their life at the moment. And it was, it's very hard to ask people questions about uncomfortable things. I mean, I felt incredibly invasive and inappropriate, but it's a really nice interview and they, they, they're great. Um, and you know the way when you meet people and think, I really like these, I want to be friends with them. That's what it was like. They're both, Ashling McDermott and Laura Kennedy, they're, they're both fantastic. Um, then on Saturday, no, hang on, no, I met Mr. Ian, the actual Ian Rankin. He came to Dunleary to do a yoke below in the pavilion. And um, we went out for our tea beforehand and he was so nice. Um, I'd never met him before, but I've read probably all his books and think the world of him. And he was very, very, very nice. You can take it from me. If he wasn't nice, I would find an, a way of of implying it but without saying it but like he came into the place he put his arms out like this he gave me a big hug a two-sided kiss and he was great company and and just lovely and then on saturday um there was a thing in the national gallery it was the 750th anniversary of the birth of Dante. And uh, so the whole of the Dante's Inferno was being read. The whole thing was taking about six hours. So I had to read a canto um, about the bit of hell where the Sodomites are sent. Mm -hmm. I, but because I would have burned and baked, fright overcame the good intentions that made me hunger to embrace them. Uh, the whole, anyway, I don't know what to say, except um, it was a good thing. It was interesting to do. Um, but them Renaissance types, I suppose, I mean, they did write love poems and paint love things as well. But we had to walk through the National Gallery, parts of it, to get to um, the place where the reading was happening. And all these horrific religious paintings. Um, anyways, just me, do you know? They're not for me. Um, each to their own. Um, just because they not have found something else to paint. Uh, I suppose they didn't really have handbags in them days and their shoes would have been made of wood probably. Um, just, you know, it was all a bit, a bit grim. But anyway, it was lovely and actually it was lovely sitting in the room because most of the people were reading in Italian and uh, it was just very nice and every now and then I'd hear a word I recognised like secondo or secondi, which always, to me, represents main course. Um, so anything to do with food is always nice. And I would be listening and thinking, God, I've, I really am gifted at languages. I really am fluid in countless languages, probably, probably 20 at this stage, I'd say. Like all the Scandinavian ones, I'm fully fluid in. Um, I'm fluid in, um, in, in Irish. 
Um, I'm fluid now in Italian, clearly. Um, and especially after listening to that, you know, I was immersed, immersed. Immerse yourself in the language. That's what they say. Anyway, I must go. I have to go because I have to go over and mind dad. I will do a glamour smoky eye one of the days, but I can't do it now because he, he would get upset. Um, he would he would be alarmed and he wouldn't recognise me and he would incu- accuse me of being an interloper coming to steal all his money. Um, have a good week and I will be back to you next Monday. And I hope you're all well. Thanking you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.